So I really had no idea what to expect once my plane landed in Cambodia. When we got to the clinic, there were those little faces. They don't know who we are and what we're going to do. You can just see that they have so much hope for the opportunity that's about to happen. I have no dental background, but instantly I was part of a team. I was trained and seated right next to the children. I was right there with my fingers brushing their hair when they needed it. And all those little hands grabbing my hand in that dental chair every time they get afraid. The dentists that I helped could not have done the job they did if I was not their chair side. There was something for everyone. Julie, who kept the records, she owned it and we knew each day exactly what we had produced, how many fillings we had done, how many extractions. I had the honor to actually bring my son. He had an amazing time being the person at the door who was monitoring who came in and when, and that the kids left with everything they needed, including the sticker. And we switched around a lot, from sterilizing equipment, to teaching brushing, to being right there, really hands-on with the kids. I'm telling you guys, from the time I landed on the airplane, Global Dental Relief was there to take care of me. I have felt so safe, so secure, and so supported that it's just been a wonderful experience. When you see what a little mouth looks like that's had no dental care, the rotting, the pain, and they are laying in that chair with their mouth open and those little eyes just looking up saying, please do what you can for me today. Global Dental Relief, they're seeing the same children every two years. They're providing fluoride. They're doing the things that really can impact lasting change, not just in the kids retreating, but also in the education that goes along with it, and in having really powerful partners on the ground in each country that can carry things forward. I've been dreaming about doing this kind of travel for a long time. Amazing adventures of trekking and riding elephants and seeing these incredible temples and being invited into people's homes. All of the back country, the back roads, the places that tourists don't get to go. Pick a date. Open up your dream box of what's on your bucket list. What have you always wanted to do? For me, it's been traveling with a committed group, giving, being with the people, making a difference, and seeing an amazing country at the same time. Now I'm here.